So why do people choose to become physician associates? If this were, why do people choose to become doctors? You could go on an inspirational spiel like, since I was a kid, I saw how doctors X, Y, and Z, and therefore A. But you can't really do that when it comes to PAs. The profession has been here just like last week. Therefore, the desire to become one, I believe, stems from something else. Is it just the desire to help people? But then again, one could make the argument that maybe going to the traditional medical school to become a doctor would give you the skill set to apply the medical model to help people. So why not become one? Maybe you don't want to put in the time, the sacrifice to become a doctor, so you chose to become a physician or associate. But does that make you lazy or does it just make you self-aware? When I say self-aware, I mean you are aware of who you are and where you are going. So you are aligning your actions accordingly to get you where you want to be. Whilst doing this, you are making sure you are living for yourself and not living to meet the expectation of others. The time difference between the two professions cannot be understated. Training to become a medical doctor takes longer than it does to become a physician associate. If one were to consider the additional years one must invest and also assuming one has a family other financial responsibilities, time factor cannot be overlooked. Physician associates are not the only people with financial responsibilities, families. Folks with these same problems have gone to medical school and become doctors. Notwithstanding that is the flexibility. As a physician associate, if I were in a speciality and I woke up one day and I felt this speciality no longer gave me life, it has ceased to enthuse me and has become a the mentor sucking the soul out of me. I could just leave by our brothers from another mother. Can't do that, but at a cost. That a physician associate does not have to pay. Becoming a physician associate does not come without its own price to pay. The most common one is the fact that you always have to explain to people what the hell you are. It can be funny at times, I should say. I think the funniest one I do remember was when I was a first year physician associate. I was in the acute medical unit, looking for skills as one does, but I wasn't finding any. So I decided to leave the bay. On my way out, I heard an old lady on the bed calling for a nurse but pointing at me. I looked around, nobody was paying attention she's the old lady so I went there I'm a student I'm not a nurse but I'll get you one I told the old lady if you've been here for a minute you know me and Stacy are tight so Stacy was responsible for the bed this actual lady was on yo Stacy this old lady needs a nurse I don't know what is going on if you could just come and check on her I went to the old lady and I told her someone will be coming to you shortly so whilst we were waiting the old lady looked me in my face and asked me so why are you then? I gave her the best spoil I could about physician associates I thought I'd done a good job and her response was oh so you are just about the cleaner. I chuckled because I really wanted to laugh. Is this old lady trying to diss me? I could have gone full beast on my own head. Even as I'm kono yaro, paga yaro, yeah. I let granny slide. So that is one thing. And the other thing is a lack of progression. Sometimes I feel we don't appreciate this because we are young. 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line, seems like an eternity to us. But I do wonder if one were to tell junior doctors currently working that 10 years down the line, you will still be an FY1 or an FY2. I wonder how many of them will still choose home back on this journey. One thing I would love to be able to do one day is to speak to the first cohort of PAs that have been working in the UK. Just really want to ask them, like with all these ups and downs, what has really kept you going, at least if they are still practicing? And those that have quit, I would like to know why they quit. Because I find that really fascinating. It's easy to act like you are Mother Teresa, but reality is one big teacher. Let you question your own decision. Your reason for becoming one will definitely differ from my reason for becoming one. At this point, I think I'm just waffling, thinking out loud. But it's your boy, your tea, and I'm out. So, Oops!